Right, quick unboxing. Oh, I can't believe this has come, can't wait. So basically, this is something off LB Custom Knives. Um, a bit of background on it, I suppose. I met him at Buscraft Show a couple of years ago, and I've always sort of seen his work on YouTube and things, and ended up seeing one of his folders. I think it's one of the first folders he made at the time, and just absolutely loved it. And his books were closed at the time, so I ended up like speaking to him, and he said, "Yeah, I'll do one." So I emailed him a couple of weeks later, and he said, "Right, well, our books are closed, but I'll honour it." And basically, watching his work grow and stuff. I've always been after, I mean I've got quite a few knives, but I've always been after an absolute handmade with top materials and everything, like one that really stands out in my collection. And I've been waiting to find the right maker to do it. And as I watched his work grow, I was like, right, and so like right, this is the one, he's, he's the man to do this. So I added on, probably a bit of a pain in the ass for him really in the end I was, but I added a special grind to it. Uh, it's a grind he'd done before, but I don't think he'd done it on a folder. It was the one I saw on one of his fixed blades for the blade show. Uh, and some high-end materials and stuff, so this will be the crown in my collection. This I can't, absolutely can't wait. Uh, Lee is just, pff, what a pleasure of a guy to deal with, really. What a genuinely top, nice guy. Uh, you know, at every stage he was there. Um, he went out of his way to get this posted, because I'm going to work on Monday, and I kind of wanted it, me just being like a kid, wanted it to take to work and stuff. Um yeah so and I've, I've got this feeling that he's going to be well he already is a big name but he's going to be one of the big 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 names in knife making i think just just from seeing his work him and well sandy from jack lord obviously uh another great nice guy got a couple of his knives i'll do a video on them soon um i think he sold out about 20 minutes or something sandy in the uh knife show so it just shows doesn't it right okay so a little letter here Bear with me. Okay, basically just saying that try and keep any oil off the lock side because this can cause this is well, well not kind of one of the biggest cause of lock stick. Enjoy your knife, Lee. I've not broken a knife in yet. It will get as you have okay cool nice writing really. <laughs> put me to shame and then we got a little certificate nice little touch beautiful this case is this box as well is absolutely good touch Lee nice one just that just shows his attention to details uh, so we got rose Damascus carbon fiber uh, three and a three quarter inch blade custom pins and it's a Rockwell 260 Rockwell so keep that safe I'm excited about this right let's go into this for a minute oh wow Lee mate beautiful pouch as well right Now I've seen pictures of this, but geez, this is something else, Lee. Look at that there, a little jewel ball in there. Custom pivot, uh, Timascus bolster, Timascus back spacer, which I'd like. I'll talk about that in a minute. Timascus pocket clip. Look at that. I, I bet you this camera won't pick it up. How it is. Oh, Lee, mate. Fit and finish is superb. Absolutely superb. Centering is perfect to a hair. It's orange peel, a lock side, titanium lock side, Damascus pivot rings, uh, hidden hardware. And he's actually, Lee's done a video on the making of this knife, which I advise anyone to watch. I've watched it about four or five times. Not just because it's my knife, because it's absolutely fascinating to watch him do it how he does it, how he does his hidden hardware, he sort of mills out holes in the back of the carbon fibre and inserts titanium, I think it's titanium, yeah, titanium sort of discs 
for the hardware to screw into from this. It's just attention to detail is absolutely amazing. All right, here goes. Oh, that flies out. Look at that blade. I went for sort of a night. This is a nightmare grind. I went for Rose Damascus. Oh, oh God, that is beautiful. It just drops. Oh, it's hard to do it on camera. Look at that. Oh, it's absolutely. I knew it was going to be good, but Jesus is blew my expectations away wow look at that I mean every sort of touch this time mask isn't it comes on a different colour you want me to see it with the oils off your skin absolutely beautiful absolutely stunning yeah the backspacer this is where I'm going to talk about sort of the one things that Lee wise just an amazing guy to deal with I I, I obviously asked for I asked for the time mask backspacer pocket clip and, and bolster now the time mascus wasn't thick enough for his build of knife to do a backspacer so we could have quite easily said look mate sorry it's not going to fit you know what i mean i'll do the backspace and something else you'll still get the time mascus you'll still get time mascus here and add a bit over the bill and have been happy with that but no lee goes above and beyond and he does a floating backspacer to make sure i get the time mascus backspacer that just shows how much passion and and sort of respect he's got for his customers that he'll go out of his way to do something like that which i is I'm telling you now is no easy feat. He also on his video, which and and, and I know he's, he makes handmade knives. I know this, but I, I kind of you see so the things like this with the spaces. I couldn't kind of thought in my own naivety that he'd, he'd have like a box of sort of different size washes and things, and he'd get them to fit and all that. But no, he actually makes these and turns them himself. So unbelievable, he makes all the hardware, which is absolutely unbelievable. Lee, I can't be happy, I can't even tell you. Beautiful. And this will get used, because I use all my knives, but obviously it's not gonna get used to smash through wood. That's not what it's for anyway, is it really? But it will be used. Lock up, nice and early, but not ridiculously too early, which I like, to be honest with you. I know a lot of collectors want it like here, but to me, that's probably about perfect. That lock up, I don't even know why I'm testing the lock up. Obviously, it's solid. Wow. Wow. I mean, even inside the knife is finished. Oh, he's just signed his name there. He's patterned the inside. Of the, I mean, this is attention to detail you get when you're getting a handmade knife, which cost I ain't going to mention, to be honest with you, because it's a handmade knife. It's completely pointless mentioning the cost of it because it, as I say well it's, it's, it's time and his efforts going into it now I know what I paid for this and it wasn't cheap and a lot of people won't get it but what I'm telling you now is these materials are not ex not cheap this is not cheap the carbon fiber is not cheap and that's just the materials so when you're into that and then when you see what the work he puts into it which I advise you to watch his video it's actually it I think it's cheap I don't think it's expensive at all. I think it works out very, very reasonably. You know, any anything else job in the world, if you're a block paver or whatever, whatever, I guarantee you'd you wouldn't put as much skill and effort. Well, no, that's not fair to say on them professions, but for the price I'm talking, when you actually see how much he earns after, and not just the materials, obviously the bits, the belts he uses, it all costs money. Keep the lights on, everything costs money. It's not, it's not expensive to me, and it's not expensive as something that obviously will last. Well, I can't flip it with one hand. Sorry, will last not just my lifetime, but be an heirloom piece to pass through. That grind is absolutely amazing. Even when I watched the videos all of him doing this, he puts, he, he, after he grinds it, he puts a mirror polish on it, then etches it, which in itself is. I mean, look at that pivots as well absolutely su superb you can see there can I see I don't think you can probably see in there but where the hidden hardware connects it's got this little signature there well <laughs> just wow attention to detail Lee you smashed it out the park mate and that's just a quick unboxing video because I've got to get packed because I'm going away to work 
but I want to do a full review of this knife because obviously it's absolutely perfect to me this first look but I'm going to go through it with a fine tooth comb but looking off the top of my back here I cannot see one slight minuscule fault in it at all beautiful thank you Lee thank you so much mate and it will be loved and treasured and please go and check his video out on the build of this so you can get an idea of what goes into something like this so I couldn't 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 have been happier. I'd have paid probably I don't know a good bit more for this. To be honest with you, you know, from somebody who follows knives, I, it's it's worth more than what I paid for it. Amazing. Thank you.